let me look and see. Something is not right. I didn't even write down how many they said. So they said something like the bowling alley, right? Real talk. I know I'm not going crazy. So I covered the shooting and made it. I remember they said something about the bowling alley. Right? Then they gave a number that was shot and killed. Well, first, we got, we're talking about this shooting in Tampa. Then we had shooting in Chicago, had a shooting in Indianapolis, and we had the shooting in Maine. So five paper, I covered the shooting in Maine. I remember specifically. And it was the guy that went in the bowling alley and shot some people. And I remember, I didn't like the way it was reported because it said like, Two dead, 16 injured, 13 injured, some number like that. And after looking at it, it hinted that they wasn't injured from being shot. They were injured from the stampede trying to get out the bowling alley. I remember telling you all, hey, man, they not, they not reporting this right. The way they say, you know, two dead and, and 13 or however many injured. They should make it clear that they wasn't injured. You know, you're thinking that they all got shot and only two of them died, right? The way they reported it. So they reported it like, you know, two dead and the rest of them got shot, but they not dead, they injured. But then when I looked into it, it said that they injuries, some of their injuries were from the stampede, stampede. getting out the bowling alley. All right, All right cool. cool. I do the live do stream. Live I'm stream. checking it out. Right, Slim? Right, Slim. <coughs> Two dead and 18 <laughs> injured. Right. right. But then, then, that's down that's in Tampa. Down in Tampa. But I'm talking about the situation in Lewiston, Maine, where they had said like two dead or four dead and like 16 injured or something like that at a bowling alley. So when I see this shooting down here in Tampa, I said, dang, this is a lot of shootings. I got to talk about all the shootings. When I go back to the shooting in Maine, it says 18 dead and 13 wounded. So I said, wait a minute. 18 dead? I covered this lie. Right? Exactly, Blanche. They're all over the place. So I'm like, 18 dead, 13 wounded. What the hell's going on? So I go and I try to find it and come to find out it was two shootings that he shot the bowling alley, and then he went to some bar, some cocktail lounge. Well, wait a minute. I know if you was watching me live, they didn't say nothing about a second shooting. Nothing. They never really said anything about the second shooting. They went straight from the first, first shooting, and then they went straight into looking for them. They just kept talking about they was looking for them. They never went back. They never said nothing about the second shooting. The distance is far between the two. Okay, so maybe he hadn't did the second shooting when I went. Maybe they had did the second shooting while I was live. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe the second shooting, I wasn't live anymore. 
You know what I'm saying? Because we was covering it right when it happened. So that maybe that's what it is. But still, I've been watching the story. I've been watching the story. And I guess I would have to watch TV. I don't watch TV. So I just, that's probably the problem. I didn't have to CNN and them on saying over and over and over. So I'm going to have to turn on CNN and them when I see these kind of stories. I go back and look and I'm like, what do you mean 18 dead, 13 wounded? What the hell? Anyway, uh, from the very beginning in the bowling alley, when they said the wounded and made it sound like the wounded was shot, uh, second shooting was a little later, but I, we had to still been live. We had to, we had to still been live. Let's, Maybe it was, maybe it was after, maybe it was a couple hours, because I know we did that live. I mean, I don't know why we didn't see that while we was live. Okay, we was live for two hours. I don't know. We was live for two hours. You know, we was live for two hours, so I don't know. Nobody mentioned it in the live for the two hours. I don't know. I don't know. It don't seem like a good job of uh, it. I don't know. Even, like I said, even with the first shooting, the way they said so many were shot and the rest was injured, they left the impression that everybody was shot. You know, they left the impression that not everybody was shot. You know, that not everybody was killed, that they was all shot. So they left the impression that that they was all shot you know if, if there's a shooting and you say two dead 20 injured tell us that those 20s is from the stampede don't 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 just say you know you know nine shot 35 injured we don't think that the person shot 40 44 people you know nine dead 44 injured we're going to think that he shot the nine and the, and the 44. The way they reported it is weird. It was strange. It was crazy the way they reported it. Because they was reporting it like, you know, two dead, this many injured. Then when I kept reading, it said, oh, they was injured for the stampede. Hey, hey, you giving me the impression that he shot all these people. So that's the first thing. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting weird vibes from these shooters. Now, it doesn't take much for me to, you know, because definitely, it was reported weird. Because I think it was like two shot or something like that, and like 18 wounded or 30 wounded or something like that. But they gave the impression that the people wounded that got shot too. They had to dig in and dig in and read to find out that was from the stampede. And they never really clarified how many exactly were shot, how many exactly was hurt in the stampede. I, I don't know.
Uh, I smell a rat, though. I can tell you that. Uh, I smell a rat. There's something just don't sit right with me. I don't know, Lily. I don't. I don't know. If I'm reporting, and you go in a place and you and you shoot and you shoot nine people and two die. And then another 10 get hurt in a stampede. I'm going to be like nine shot, two died in the shooting. And then there was, you know, 15 people hurt in the stampede. I'm not going to say two, two dead. And then bunch all those other people up and say wounded. I'm not going to call all those people wounded. I'm going to separate, separate who's wounded from what, bro. Right, bro. <laughs> you know? What the hell? What? So, so even still now, I don't know which ones were wounded from the stampede and which one was wounded from the shooting. What the hell? So when I went and looked today and it said 18 shot, 13 wounded, I said, I know I'm not crazy. I've seen two shot at think and kill. Now it's 18 dead. I'm like, 18 dead? He must have killed a lot of people the second time. Because I think the first time he only had killed two, right? How many did he kill at the bowling alley? I think he only killed two at the bowling alley. So when he went to the second location, he killed 16 people. But now they send only 13 wounded. But they said more was wounded at the first shooting. The first shooting had more wounded than 13 from the stampede. I mean, what kind of news reporting are they doing? I could have swore. At the bowling alley, more was wounded than 13 from the stampede. What the hell's going on? Mm -hmm. So now I find out, okay, and now Chicago yesterday, we had a shooting at a, at a, at a, at a party. Halloween party. We had 15 shot there. Nobody died. Yesterday in Indianapolis, we had nine shot and one kill. And now they, I'm figuring out, I'm finding out that yesterday, they had two killed and 16 injured down in Tampa. What? They said two groups got in an argument and then they just got to shooting. Two people dead, 16 injured. Now, I don't know if these young men got guns with too many shots in it. Maybe they got these switches on these guns. I don't know, no, no, no. but, it, but it, when you hear a story, it's got to lay flat. It's got to feel, you know, it's got to feel like it make no sense. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, these shootings, they're not feeling natural to me. And I go by my instincts. I don't go by what I think. I don't have. I don't go by what I think or none of that. I just go by my natural feelings. And these shootings are weird. These shootings could definitely fit in the conspiracy zone. I don't do conspiracies, but these these shootings, I don't know. They just don't sit well. I mean, some just not right. Something is not right with these shootings. 
they don't seem don't natural. Seem natural. The way they've been, the way they've been, the way they've been reported, the way they're happening. And all that. Mm -hmm. Well, there's something, some, some, something is just. I'm supposed to see this, and it's supposed to seem natural, but it don't. Don't it don't feel it feels weird. The shooting in Chicago. They were uh, partying. It was wet in the morning. Some older brother, fifty years old, get to get in an argument. They take him out the club. He argue with with security. They beat him up. They let him go to the car. He come back with a gun. He's just blowing at everybody. That don't make no sense. Why is he shooting everybody in the place? And why is all the shots leg shots? Like, is he drunk or, you know, how do you go in a club? You shoot 15 people, nobody hitting the chest, nobody hitting the head. People shot in the leg, in the foot, in the ankle. He was drunk. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That ain't. Yeah, it was skin bone party, but it just. Mm -hmm. They just saying it ain't making no sense. It's really not. I don't, I don't know. You know, you know the people say, oh, man, but, you know, you know nowadays, 50, 50, 60 years old, it's not really old, not really old like old that no more that. like it used to be. It's not like it's not like it used to be. Some young people think it is, but that's because they're really young. They don't know. But when you... When you get 40, you'll see I'm talking about it's not it's not really like that no more. People don't get into that old feel like that no more. It used to be a time you would feel old, you would think old. People not doing that no more. Women ain't stopping going to the club because they 52, 53, 54 years old. They all up in there. You just think she in her thirties. Shorty, 50. You would be surprised how many of them women you seeing in the club, you thinking 35, 38, like that, they 50, 52, 53. They just taking care of themselves. Yeah, it, ain't that, it ain't that cut off like that. Like most people think. You ain't gonna really get that. You ain't gonna really get that older look until you get about 59, 60. You know? When you get about when you get about 59, 60, 
Then, like my age, like in here, then everybody be able to tell. But at 50, eh, you can, you know. It ain't no whole lot different between 38 and 50. You know what I'm saying? Not like, not like you might think. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't no cut off like that. It don't cut off like that. People just don't get a certain age and just stop doing stuff. Sounds good, but it's not realistic. You know, Wild Style from Crucial Conflict is 50. He in a club, you know, you know, you know, I'm saying. He don't, he don't look like look no like 50, no though. 50, though. He wild style from Crucial Conflict. conflict. He's, not, he's not gonna look 50. He don't look 50 like. 50 don't really look 50. You know, yeah, in 14 more years, you're not gonna really look 50. 60 is when you, 57, 58 is when you can kind of begin to tell. Like when I was 50, nah, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have known. 50 from 40, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't have known. You, you wouldn't have known. You wouldn't have known if I was 50 or 38. How? I don't really start showing until like 57, 58. 49, 50. You know. Hair dye and Dying shit, man, you, know, you know what I mean? You just think them ladies in their late 30s, them ladies 50. But yeah, so there's another shooting now in Florida. They say two groups get into it. And then dudes that just start blowing. Two dead, 16 injured. The same day that 15 got shot in Chicago and nine got shot in Indianapolis and one dead. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a coincidence. It just seems funny. You know? Yeah, it happened down it happened down in uh, Tampa. It just it just I don't know. It happened in Wyboro, Y-B-O-R. That's like a neighborhood. This dude did it. What nationality is he? Is he a migrant? Or what? What's, what is, what's going on with that? Somebody tell me, like, what is he? (laughs) 22-year-old in Tampa shooting that killed two and injured 16. A 22-year-old suspect has been arrested and charged with second-degree murder in a shooting on a crowded street in Tampa, Florida, early Sunday morning. 
leaving two people dead and 16 others injured, authorities said. The shooting started after a dispute between two groups broke out as hundreds of people were filing out of the bars and the nightclubs in Tampa, Yiborough City neighborhood, just before 3 a.m. A 14-year-old boy and a 22-year-old man were killed. Now, wait a minute. Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkow said. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, does this make any sense to you? Does this make any sense to anybody? This does not make any sense to me. Or am I tripping? I've got to be tripping. Something's got to be wrong with me. I'm tripping. I've got to be tripping. This doesn't make any sense. Look what it says. It happened in the neighborhood just before 3 a.m. A 14-year-old. Hold on a minute, man. Hold on. What is a 14-year-old doing out at 3 a.m. in an area where everybody's getting out of nightclubs? Somebody, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Will somebody explain to me, is it me? Am I? Am, It's Florida, but he 14, 14, and 14. Fourteen is fourteen. It's three AM. It's fourteen. It's so homeless families be in the street begging for money. Yeah, I was down there. I had some Haitians follow me up and down the street begging. Okay. I, I had I had some Haitians follow me up and down the street. I had to threaten us had to threaten to knock dude out if he didn't stop following me. He was keeping me out, him and his wife. Of the sixteen people injured, fifteen were shot and one person had other serious injuries. Recall said they were triaged at the scene and transported by Tampa Fire Rescue to nearby hospital, town police said in a statement. Many of the additional victims who range from the age 18 to 27 years old have been medically treated and released from the hospital. Five remain in the hospital recovering from their injuries, the statement said. Man, I don't give a damn what family, whatever. I catch you on the police. I catch you outside in the bar area at, four, at 3 in the morning. Your ass 14. You going to juvie. You know what I'm saying? We cuffing you. What the hell is you doing out here? Bro, you got to sell your hot dogs in the daytime, boy. It, bro, what? It's 3 in the morning. Fourteen year old is grown, but it ain't grown on the streets of Florida when you get shot in no club area. Mm -hmm. So we got all these shootings just so happen to happen within seven days. Just blah, 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 all over the place. I don't know. All start bogus, weird. I don't know. I usually can just tell a story and it is what it is. It's one of the few times. I don't know. Something's just not right. 
It just don't sound, none, none of this sounds right. It sounds very suspicious. The shooting seemed very suspicious. You know, who remembers when uh, the United States government agents went to Cuba and they was hearing strange sounds that messed up their head and all in Washington, D.C. That, and then one couple heard the sounds and went out and seen a van and the man said the van was making sounds in his wife's head. Who remembers that story? Y'all remember that story? It happened in China. It happened and it happened in Cuba. At least 21 government employees who were exposed to unusual noises while serving at the United States Embassy in Havana, Cuba, show effects similar to dramatic brain injury without associated head trauma, according to the preliminary study results published this week in the Journal of American Medical Association. Psychiatrists at the University of Pennsylvania Center for Brain Injury and Repair and the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation coordinated a multidisciplinary clinical evaluation, treatment, and rehabilitation of the patient. They observed that 21 individuals, all of whom experienced unexplained reactions to audible and or sensory pneumonia phenomena of unclear origin while serving in Havana showed signs of persistent cognitive vestibular and oculomotor dysfunction as well as sleep impairment and headaches. Psychiatry also called physical medicine and rehabilitation focuses on improving the function of patients often following an injury. This study is being presented February 17th at 8 a.m. at the Higher Regency. And one dude heard and looked out and seen a van. Real tough. Here's the story again. New report assesses illness among U.S. government personnel and families at overseas embassy. Government personnel and their families at the U.S. Embassy in Havana, Cuba in the late 2016 and later at the U.S. Consulate in Ganzhou, China, began suffering from a range of unusual 
and in some cases suddenly occurring symptoms such as a perceived loud noise, ear pain, intense head pressure or vibration, dizziness, visual problems, and cognitive difficulties. And many still continue to experience these or other health problems. And one, one government official said him and his wife heard and they look out and they seen the van down the street. A suspicious white van, I think they said. No, I don't be using DuckDuckGo. I did at one time. I don't use it, though. I should. I just wanted to report this shooting, though, but it's strange to me. I got to really think about this a couple of days before I really can talk about it because it don't sound right. It's like people come out, you wait till people come out, you start an argument, then you just start shooting. And just a whole bunch of people ain't got nothing to the argument get hit. Mm -mm. Same in Chicago. Okay, so you, you in the party, you get to get belligerent, get crazy, as you leave the party, you go, you get into it with the guards. The guards beat you up. They let you go all the way to the car and get a gun. You come back, the guards running. You come in the club and you just start just shooting like that. I don't do conspiracy, but it sounds like mind altering stuff. It just don't, it don't sound right. It's just something about it. These shooters are suspicious to me. The guy up there in Maine, that shooting is suspicious. He just, what, he just crazy. He just went and did that out the blue. Oh, no. It ain't even making no sense. I'm going to avoid jumping off the roof with some conspiracy stuff, but it just, I don't know. It don't seem normal. It don't flow. Things flow. When I, I, don't, I don't put my own thought into nothing. That's why I try to tell my subscribers. I don't put myself into nothing. I don't give no preconceived concept. I just be open, like water running. You know, I don't, and so when I look at this, the way this has been unfolding, I got something in me that if it makes sense, then it's a closed story. But if the story stay open in me naturally, I don't try to just close it. And this ain't closing. For some reason, I'm just not buying it. It just don't sound right, Hawkeye. I don't know. I just ain't buying it. It's just... I don't, I don't know. It's just something, something about, about these about shootings. shootings. They don't so. The, the reporting of them, them the reporting is weird. weird. The reporting is not really, not really accurate. accurate. When you go when you search them, them, it's like they like don't want to say, say nothing, nothing on what's on really what's going, going on. Because there's no way I'm not supposed to know that the main shooter did two shootings. I don't think a lot of Americans know that. They didn't even never go back into the shooting. He did the shootings one night, and the next day they just went into, where is he? Every time you looked at the news, it was like, where is he? We looking for him. They never really clarified that he shot in two different places. Not that I seen, they might have mentioned it. They'll like, they'll just like roll over something. I don't know.
I don't, I don't know. know. I, just I know. just know. I don't. I'm, when I don't get I don't no closure, get no closure something, ain't something ain't right. Because I don't be pre-thinking none of this. I don't believe conspiracy or nothing, but this ain't. This doesn't seem natural. The shooting in Chicago doesn't seem natural. This shooting down here in Florida definitely don't seem natural. The shooting up in Maine where he went to two places and he was just shooting. That don't, that don't seem natural. Seem natural. It's, just it's just something, something about them. I don't know. I, don't know. I, almost, I almost get a feeling like they all, they connected. all connected. I don't know. I don't usually think like that, but this 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 is strange. Even when he did the shooting in Maine, it was a real weird night, me reporting that. The way... The way they were teaching it, I mean, the way they were telling it, it was strange. They wasn't telling it like usual. It was almost like they was making it as difficult as possible for you to know what really happened. Up there in Maine, I was, I was having a hard time translating what happened, the way they was, you know, the way they was ex expressing it to the community. It just seemed like it wasn't, I don't know, man. Even the way they said injured, and they didn't really clarify how they was injured. It seemed like a lot of manipulating. If somebody's in a bowling alley and somebody shoot it up and two or three people get killed, and, and you get three more three gunshot, gunshot victims, victims, and then, then you get 10 you get people 10 injured, injured from the stampede. stampede. Shouldn't you have, Shouldn't to, you distinguish have to distinguish the injury? injury? Or can you just say three people killed, you know, 15, 15 people injured? injured. Although out of that 15, only three others got shot and the rest of them stepped on glass. Can you just say injured like that? Because typically, if you said it was a shooter, and, and, and three, three people, people killed, killed and 15, and 15 injured, injured. we going to think the 15 got shot. shot. They just shot. didn't they die. Because typically, typically when I do Chirac homicide, basically that's what, that's it, what is. it is. It's telling me, telling me you, know, you know, this many this people got shot. shot. This the ones that died. And they're, 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 they're interchanging they're shot with shot injured. They're using this word injured. It's almost like they're trying to hype it up to make it sound like it's worse than what it was. Because if you tell me, you know, five shot, 30 injured, dang, that sounds crazy. Tell me the 30 was from a stampede. Just don't say five shot, 30 injured. Because we're going to think he shot 35 people. Five dead. No, they say five dead. Right? Five dead, 35 injured. So you're going to think, okay, they shot 40 people. Five died and 35 is just injured. Then you kind of find out, no, they only shot the five. The others got hurt in the stampede and all this. I don't know. It ain't adding up. Not to me. This shooting down in Tampa don't make no sense. I don't don't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. None of these make any sense. Exactly the same. None of these, none of these make any sense to me. It's just suspicious. I ain't gonna jump conclusions and say it's a conspiracy, but I am gonna say I'm not buying it the way it's being fed to me. It's just something's not right. 
even this even dude, dude, they find his car, car, they find all this stuff, and then later they find him dead. Did you find him dead? Or, you know? Make it make sense. Don't sound right. Yeah, remember the ex-cop and they chased him down and killed him? That was strange, trying to keep him quiet. So anyway, that's up with that. I don't know what to say about it. I don't want to talk about it long because I'm going to have to think about this in a few days. I'm going to go back and research all this stuff and just... Try to see if I can make some sense out of this stuff. It's going to be Halloween. Well, it is Halloween officially now. Anything's liable to happen, I'm going to tell you straight up. I know this is definitely... I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Even this guy, I'm, I'm just not... I'm not buying him as no shooter either. Like, why is he a shooter? Look at him. Yeah. It's not making no sense. Y'all have a good night.